A person who adopted the materialistic point of view, more for convenience than for the sake of his conviction, might say, well, why should I bother with all these worlds spiritual science speaks of? The world I'm living in now is enough to satisfy me. There may be other worlds, but I'm not going to bother my head about them. and processes in our environment are there only because they were thought and then pressed into objectivity by beings during the ancient sun and moon periods. I think I'll read that sentence again. The things and processes in our environment are there only because they were thought and then pressed into objectivity by beings during the ancient sun and moon periods. And it is not superfluous to give thought again and again to the seriousness that must underlie our movement. This seriousness is what must actually hold us together. We must truly meditate on the subject over and over again to be able to acquire the right feeling for much that causes our movement problems of this or that nature. If more of our members came to understand this, it would be possible to introduce more new ways of expressing things this is indeed necessary. We participate in the soul life there. We have a world of beings rather than a world of objects surrounding us. And that in our time only those individuals think truly materialistically who are either unable to think at all or else don't want to think. <laughs> 